You can see it with binoculars. You can see it in a small telescope. On this diagram, you see the Earth as the green circle, and uh, there's a line going through it, which is the geosynchronous satellite ring. That is the ring of satellites that encircles the Earth, and we're looking at it edge on, which is essentially the equator. The, the uh, asteroid now is passing from the bottom to the top, and, I've, and there are little uh, time tags indicating at what time it is at what point. And we're getting very close to the actual closest approach. So it is just below that satellite ring, and very soon it will pass within the ring, which is essentially the time of closest approach. And folks are worried about that, worried about is there any possibility that one of the satellites could be affected? There's no chance that this asteroid will run into a known satellite. We are 50 seconds away, 49, the clock is counting down, and at that point, in just a few seconds, that is the closest point that DA-14 will be to our planet. To our planet in, in centuries, probably, as far as we know. So it's a, it's, a, it, it's a remarkable moment as it passes by, and then, then it will be headed out. And, and watching the counter on the left, the distance to Earth. Yes, it's going to go through uh, about 17,000... 200 some miles. That's as, as close as it will get, and then it will start heading out. And that's at the point where folks in Europe and then finally North America, as it's heading out, mm -hmm. is about the time mm -hmm. that we'll be able to see it. Yes, it's going from the far south. Now it's over the equator, and it will be heading straight north and going essentially near the North Pole. So now we will have the polars uh, in the sky, and we'll have a chance to see it from the northern hemisphere now. All right. The counter is zero, it has passed closest approach, and this asteroid is going away. It's on its way out.